Bogus Family on Burke's Community Television is underwritten by Answers Pet Food. It's family. My name's Barb Emmett, and I am the host for this next hour. And boy, we have some fantastic guests today. Dogus Family is all about what we can do to enhance our mind, body, and spirit. And it's always a work in progress. And all of you sitting out there, I'm sure you've been through the, the issues this summer with foods and, and issues. How do I figure this all out? And I continue to try to present all kinds of concepts to you so that you can be thinking about what might be going on in nutrition. The show is all about that. And we've got a busy hour ahead of us. I feel very fortunate to be part of the BCTV family to bring this show to you out there, viewers, because we are community TV but the reach in the world goes everywhere and what I've been able to do in many cases is bring well-known guests in the pet industry the big pet industry to you to us in this county and I've been able to do that again today and I'm very very excited to get started we are going to be zooming in with meeting conference technology and thankfully so much for the program director here and the station willing to support this to get us moving to bring experts in in their particular areas and what we have first up is Maria Ringo and, and when, there's Maria. Yay, Maria. She's with us. Hi. This has been so much fun. I've been in this business 15 years. And when I started out, I would go to trade shows. And I, of course, have researched, researched, researched. That's who I am. That's what I do. And I knew about Maria years ago. And I knew about their products years ago. And what they were doing, I had to dig deeper into because it's fantastic, folks. You can't find this in the general markets. And you need to understand a little more about nutrition. We all do. And then in my second half hour, I have two lovely women, uh, two Philippine women who started their business out of passion. They're entrepreneurs because of their grandmother and the benefits of coconuts. So we want you to stay with us. This, this technology of Zoom is phenomenal. So let's get right in with Maria. Hi. Hi, Barb. How are you? Good. And Maria's coming to us from where? I'm in Toronto, in Toronto. my home office. Yeah. Canada. So sh Maria, give us a start in who you are, your background, how you got to this point, why we're here today. Uh, right. I was very excited to bring Marie on. Go ahead. I'm excited to be here. Um, it's funny hearing you say um, I've been in the pet industry 15 years. When I think about it, I've been in the pet industry over 30 years. Whoa. Uh, which I never thought, I, I never thought that would happen, but I, I loved my dogs. I love this industry. It's, it's a beautiful place to be. And I'm so happy to still be here. I started way back in the 1980s as a youth. Um, I had I had bull mastiffs. Um, ah. My friend and I did not have uh, a food that we liked feeding. We wanted to feed raw. There was nothing like it on the market. So we started Sojourner Farms. We had no clue what we were doing. We had to do so much research. Um, and we did, and we patched together the money, and we put together this lovely grain-based raw food diet that you added the fresh meat to, and you added water. Everybody thought we were crazy. Mm. There was nothing like this in 1986. No. But we persevered, and talk about going to trade shows. For many years, we were the only flesh and blood women at those trade shows. It was a man's industry. Yes. Um, it was a man's industry. It really was. But we had a good time, and we... Um, persevered and I ended up selling Sojourner Farms to Ward Johnston and some friends who turned it into Sojo's and and made very good with it. And then I took a couple of years to um, go to um, homeopathic medical school after I sold my business and I moved to Canada. I married a Canadian anyway and here I am in Canada. My husband and I about eight years ago started another venture called Carnivore and this, we felt um, it, that it took Sojourner Farms to another level because we were hearing people all the time say, I want to feed raw, but I can't. Ah. Or all the time. Or I'm afraid of the pathogens. Or I'm always in a rush in the morning. So we created Carnivore, which is for that customer. And I'm happy to say eight years later, it's worked out very, very well. We have a full product line now. And we're still educating people. We're still providing that solution for the person who says, I don't feed my kids garbage. Why am I feeding my dog 
this, what we call crappy kibble, no offense intended to anybody. Everybody's doing the best they can all the time. That's another thing with carnivore. We we're all doing the best we can. And carnivore though, is the, the solution for that person who needs convenience, but doesn't want to feed synthetics, doesn't want to feed preservatives and wants whole food. So we just, we mash up whole foods, mostly meats and literally mash it out, bake it into a very um, easy to identify form, very uniform with not a lot of moisture. So it's quick baked, air dried and put into a bag. So it solves the problem for that busy mom in the morning who wants to pour it into a bowl and go off to school. And then in the evening, when she has time, when the meat has thawed, she can do her home cooking or her raw. And that's what, that's what we're about. It's, it's like you said, it's education. It's about, it's about letting people know that there is something else out there. You really do have a choice. Yes, you, you really can, do have a choice in that segment. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and the, the, the impressive part, and many impressive parts of what you've been able to do, and it's such a niche and, and a type of food that uh, uh, people like me, who are passionate about feeding the best people can feed, and, and knowing where the ingredients are coming from, and knowing quality control of a food, I want to see a clean panel on all of that. And in dry foods, people have to be afraid of synthetic, what's, what are the synthetic vitamin and mineral mixes and what are right. the um, <clears throat> preservatives used and where do these eggs come from and where does this meat come from? Let's talk about how Carnivore has been, yeah. you've created something very different in this yeah. type of product. Please talk well, about that. The first, thing, the first thing to remember is that what we what we what all creatures need is whole food and this is the this is the gist of carnivore is that when you split meat into meals or when you use pea proteins or soy protein isolate or or vitamins that are are grown in a factory and these are synthetic vitamins and minerals or probiotics that are cultured in a lab all of this is adulterated food and that's not a healthy thing to eat every day we all go out for fast right. food when we're on the road every once in a while we'll eat the potato chips or the, the junk sure and that that's like i said we're all doing the best we can but for a mainstay diet you wouldn't feed your kids that so for carnivore what we've done is we very carefully selected suppliers of human grade ingredients it's leftovers from the, the trade that didn't sell everything to the um, grocery store, quite literally. And we have combined that with our secret ingredient, which is the sprouted seeds. When we discovered the sprouted seeds, we were amazed. We really were amazed. We had no idea they were so powerful. It's nature's superfood. A seed has all the energy required to grow the plant. So it has billions of CFUs of native probiotics in it, ready to protect that plant as it grows to maturity. It has billions of vitamins and minerals, all the whole co-family of nutrients is in there. And when you sprout that seed, you release the phytic acid from the shell, which allows the sprout to come out. And now all that nutrition is bioavailable. It is available to the animal. It is available to grow the plant. Nature is so smart. We're harnessing that for our animals. And quite frankly, for us too, because we make smoothies out of the, the Florafor product that we created. We, we have that in our kitchen. And at the trade shows, I make smoothies mm -hmm. with Florafor, strawberries, some ice, some orange juice. It's all, all human grade organic. We mix that into everything. So like you say, when you read the Carnivore label, it's clean. There's no synthetic anything. The probiotics are not cultured in a lab, which is why you don't see them on the ingredients list because AFCO won't let us put them on there because they say, well, where'd they come from? We say, we have reams of data showing you that they come from the seeds. Well, that's not an additive, so you can't add it. We're not adding it. <laughs> oh, frustrating. You're putting it in the food. It's in the food. Whole food. All food. And it is considered clean. Can I read the label of this one product to the folks? Yep. How about if we do that? Should we do the duck liver, eggs, and sprouted seeds? Sure. Uh, yes, I do need to put my reading. There's, a, there's the picture of some of the product line that we have here. And what I want to read to you, of course, I picked the wrong side. 
This is the ingredient panel, folks. This is what, when you start comparing, and I know that all of, a lot of you are doing this every day, you're getting more and more aware of ingredient panels, percentages, what's in it, what's not in it, but there's still a lot of confusion in the market. Let me just read this one. The ingredients are duck, pork liver, eggs, ground organic sprouted barley seed, herring, ground fava beans, sweet potato, ground organic sprouted flax seed, ground organic sprouted lentils, ground organic sprouted peas, potato starch, apples, carrots, salt, dried kelp. Speak to us about some of these because, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there about lentils and yeah. Yeah. Uh, fava beans, perhaps. Um, yeah. Talk to folks about a little bit of that, if you will. Yeah. That's a very, very good question, Barb, because <clears throat> what you have to remember is that, okay, let's just take fava beans. Fava beans are known in a certain percentage of humans who have a genetic predisposition to cause favism, and it's an illness, it's a debilitating illness. I know. Cooked fava beans do not create that problem. A dog or a cat can eat cooked fava beans, of course they're cooked. They would be way too hard, right? So right. They, they, ours is baked, right? So you have to use the cooked fava beans. And so they're baked and they're ground. It's all good. The fava beans do not pose any danger to the animals. Fava beans create, um, fava beans have um, an element in them, which, um, what's it called? It creates, um, oh, I'm forgetting the word, but it's it's a it's a drug that's used to regulate all kinds of illnesses in humans. And if fava beans had high levels of that drug in it, actually, people would just go buy a can of fava beans and oh. spend thousands of dollars for the drug. So, oh. read, educate yourself. Fava beans are a non-issue for animals. Absolutely, your dog is not going to go find a raw fava bean somewhere and eat it, especially <laughs> not. In and I appreciate you bringing up the issue of the lentils. Mm -hmm. and Fumes because what the problem with DCM, right? Dial dilated cardiomyopathy. Dilated cardiomyopathy, which and we've had a lot of our friends ask us about it. We've had a lot of phone calls here. DCM is a real problem for some animals. And some, if you read the ingredients panel on some of the grain free products that are out there and some of the very low quality products out there, grain free or not, they're using too many non meat sources for protein. This soy isolate that I talked about, this pea protein isolate, that is the problem. There's not enough protein. There's not enough meat in it. Meat is the natural source of taurine. If DCM is caused by lack of taurine, if your animal is getting natural taurine in their food from eating enough meat, you are at no risk of DCM. You just have to think these things through. Don't okay. just listen to... I don't know, mm -hmm. whatever you're looking, you got to you got to educate. And our, our products are mostly meat. And there's, there's some sprouted legumes in there. And they're super nutritious. By no means is this too much legumes because look at the first five ingredients, okay? Yep. Meat and eggs. This is what you need. You are perfectly safe. We don't have to add taurine. There's tons of it in there. Mm -hmm. So you got to read the ingredients label. The DCM issue came out. The, I read the FDA paper, and the, the paper, the study that they cited was written by, without naming names, just look it up yourself, it was written by folks who admit to their conflict of interest because they actually work for Big Pet Food. Yep. Yep. Okay, all good. J just, read, just read it. Read the source. And you think to yourself, gee, they're recommending that we buy Big Pet Food. Okay, well, take that as it would do your own research. But um, Carnivore's perfectly said we've never had ever had a person complain about it or never had a vet. There's never been an issue because we have mostly meat yep. and there's tons of tool. Yeah, thank you for that. That's been a hot topic and, and a food yep. that they can feel very comfortable about. Um, yep. In quality control, do you have, can you speak to that a little bit? Because some people get yep. really concerned yep. about that with the meat. Is yes, it what it's should. supposed to be? Yes, yes as they, they should. They should. Yes. So maybe give us a little run on that. Both Dave and I have been in the industry for over 30 years, and we, we've seen the backside of it. And yes. yeah, you need you need to know. So, <clears throat> what we've put into place, I think, is probably the most stringent quality controls that I can think of. Because before any product leaves our bakery, we test it for 13 different pathogens. We just test it. Mm 
to make sure. And then we have an independent lab, test it again. We don't want anything going out there that could be contaminated. That's the reality of any packaged product, right? And my heart goes out to some of our, you know, good companies who are doing their best, who end up having a recall or having something because when you have a commercial food and it's got to go through many stages, there's bound to go, something's bound to go wrong. Um, we're trying our very best. And so far, Knockwood, eight years, we've never had a problem because we have this two-stage testing program. And we, we test the ingredients, we test it at the bakery, we test it after. And we keep shelf testing for all the eight years we've been in business. We still have product on the shelf batch after batch. After batch. <laughs> Just to make sure because we're, out, we're only out there to help make the world a better place. We're really not. That's our only intention is we want to educate people, give them options, have healthy animals. And that, that's all we want to do. So we, we feel that we have fairly strict quality control measures that cost us a lot of money, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. It's worth it. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. What kind of dogs, have you found that certain um, conditions in dogs, this your food really helps, specific oh, yeah. medical or everybody, or how would you, can you characterize that? That's an interesting question, too, because I think probably the customer that calls us to thank us the most is the person who's got either a dog with serious gastrointestinal issues okay. or serious skin and coat issues. Um, I get so many calls all the time from people who say, my dog's licking her paws and we can't figure it out. And we've had her tested and the vet says everything's okay. And, and just trying Florifor. Florifor is our ground sprouted seed product that we put into all of the pet food. So the ground sprouted seeds, if you feed flora for by the tablespoon mixed with a little goat's milk and honey, answers goat's milk goes really great with, um, with flora for. We've, we've known that. We talk about that a lot. Um, mix that up as a gruel. Feed that to the animal as a therapeutic dose. And you'll see that in so many cases, that licking abates, the skin and coat clears up, the gooey ears clear up. I've had numerous people, and if you look on our website, you'll see the testimonials. People say, I've tried everything, and those gooey ears did not go away until I started using Florifor, and then I got interested in this food, and so I started yeah. using carnivore as the main diet. It's just, it's just real food. You know, it's not rocket science. I say that all the time. It's, it's real food. food. It's and that's real food. Yeah, that's where people are like, no, it's supposed to come from a, you know, a bag at the grocery store and look at the ingredients. So it's not real food in a lot of that. So, I, you know, I hear you. You know I hear you. Um, the, <clears throat> the supplement that we're talking about, the sprouted seeds, I think are just so interesting. I was introduced to it from a, from a, a smoothie at a trade show, too. Um, this is the product again. If folks want to look at, if you want to see the bag of Flora 4. The other thing <clears throat> that's very interesting about your food is palatability. I know like when companies get very, very big, they do these palatability studies, which are, oh, we put this out and this out. What did they like? I will tell you that I'm very pleased in the role that I have as the proprietor of a specialty business committed to better food is that um, some of our customers are really finding that their dogs really do like it from a taste perspective. You know. And you don't have to spray anything on this food. Like a lot of the big big pet food companies have to yeah. do spray surfacants. You wanna speak about that? Because I'm okay. finding that quite a few of the customers who might've had fussy dogs are eating good food, which you know, if you're used to junk food after a while, you don't even wanna eat a salad. <laughs> but they're yep. making the transition oh, yeah. and maybe you want to speak to palatability and what you've found. Oh, I'd love to, because it's one of the things that I'm so pleased about. A good food is no good if the cat won't eat it. Yeah. So we worked for many years on our cat food recipe to make it palatable within our very strict parameters. What, what some pet food companies do is they literally spray perfume on the nugget, on their kibble, to make it attractive. And, and these are complete chemicals. Yep. And of course, Carnivore would never do that. So we had to find a recipe for the dog food was easier because they're not quite as picky. Right. The cats drove, oh, drove me crazy because <laughs> they're so picky. And we tested batch after batch. And the cats would say, yeah, 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 but I don't like the, ta the taste or the smell. <laughs> we finally found, and you know what? They love two things. It's mostly meat. And it's baked. Yeah. And that seems to be the key. It's mostly meat and it's baked. Um, we're, um, 
going to visit a carnivore customer next week because I, I just want to talk to her. Um, she has an old dog who has hardly any teeth and he wouldn't eat. He wouldn't eat, wouldn't eat. She found carnivore. This dog does a happy dance in the kitchen every meal time. That makes me so happy. It does. Because he was at the end of her rope. It smells good to him. It tastes good to him. He will eat it. And she had to just let me know. Like, I, what did you get? What did it's you do? It's just food. Yeah. Lots of meat, baked, smells good. Then they taste it. Lots of meat. They'll eat it. And this dog is now healthy again. So, oh, I love that story, Maria. And the texture, it breaks down easier yes. in their mouth, doesn't it? Because yes. of the air baking. Formula, we created our fish formula. We called it Easy Chew oh. because we put a little bit of mind baking soda. So it's actual baking soda from the ground. It's mind, and It just makes it a little easier for them to get their older or smaller teeth on it. Great. Great. Oh, so smart. You, you, you're just so smart with what you've been doing. We're, we're running out of time already, which I cannot believe. Uh, I could talk to you for hours. I hope the viewers are out there thinking the same thing. And if they have questions, please call in if you would like. Um, I have so many. Uh, I, I still want to go back to sprouted seeds. I don't know why, but I'm reading all of these ingredients in the sprouted seeds. The enzymes are in there. The vitamin B12, which can be an issue. Vitamin D, which has an incredible amount, which now we're learning uh, low levels of vitamin D can cause cancer, uh, can indicate cancer. Indicate, right. right. So you're covering so much. And just by adding some daily doses in their food, you have a powerful product here yeah. that can really benefit dogs. Yep. And it's just nature. Honestly, Barb, it's just the way nature created this seed with all the protections and we get the benefit of it that's all it is and and it's you know the fluorophore product is completely raw completely organic so it satisfies everybody if you have any issues with anything fluorophore is good use it the next time you have a, a stomach upset or ne next time you feel like you're getting sick yeah seriously you personally Put a tablespoon into a smoothie or into your yogurt or something and eat it. You will feel better after a few days with that because it reseeds your gut Excellent. with positive bacteria. 125 different families of probiotic bacteria, not just one or five and not for $60 for a little bottle. Of <laughs> yeah, it's that's awesome. true. That is very, awesome. very true. Yep. Oh, this is Love excellent. What else haven't we covered that you'd like to talk about? The flavors, the sourcing, the food, life, where we're headed, what, anything. If I could give people a message, I would say, you are doing the best you can. And as you learn better, you do better. Do better. Who oh. said that? Dr. Maya Angelou. And I, oh. she's one of my heroes. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing her, but as we learn better, we do better. So do your research. Find out about Carnivore. Give it a try. I love it. Uh, I'm proud of it. I stand behind it. Call me or email me anytime with questions. I'm always open to it. I love talking to my customers. Oh, that's an excellent final thought, Maria. I've always said that I'll get customers into the store. And once they start to learn, they feel very guilty that they didn't do better before. And I do the same thing. Once you learn, you have an obligation to do better. If you choose not, then, you know, that that's what happens in life. We But we have to be open all the time, right? Yes, we do. We have to listen. We have to read. Excellent. Thank you so much. This has just You're been welcome. a delight. I would love to continue to talk about foods and Anytime. your science and your husband, Dave, who's your co owner in the company. I got to at least meet Dave as well. And I wish you the best in pursuing the best in dogdom for nutrition. Thank you. Thanks, Barb. Have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye. We'll take a break, and we'll be back with two lady entrepreneurs with coconuts. We're going to go coconuts. Thanks.